Hello everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Kudemo and this is Matt Weiss. Hey everybody. Hey, he's here. I'm back. Yeah. You didn't know if I was coming back, but I'm back. Yeah, he got the bug. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to get any other bug, that's it. Yeah. He got the hockey bug, the good one. Yeah. Anyway, uh, don't forget that, uh, you know, uh, today is a uh, hockey day and um, when it comes to hockey with our system lately, we've all been Nashville strong. Mm-hmm. Um, Nashville Strong Initiative, uh, you know, you can uh, help out in any way you can. Uh, for those of you in the Nashville area, you can donate to any of the Ford Ice Centers, yep. and they will take any kind of donations you will give them, uh, money, uh, items, uh, food, clothing, you name it, they'll pretty much take it at this point. I think they even include, like, services, too. Like yeah, they're looking also for a lot of volunteer work. So. services, yeah. Um, also, you could donate to the... Uh, uh, Community Foundation of uh, Middle Mid Tennessee, yep. um, either on their website, on our videos, or you can go to the Nashville Predators website at nashvillepredators.com slash Nashville Strong. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what we have for them. And speaking of goodwill, we go over to our friends at Wausau, Wisconsin Adaptive Sports Association. They uh, do assortments of things for... Um, uh, people who are either in wheelchairs or, um, you know, uh, kids, adults, veterans alike. Yep. Um, physical impairments, I yep. should use. That would be a good word. Um, any any type of that, they any, do everything from sled hockey to uh, wheelchair basketball, wheelchair uh, rugby, soccer, or uh, goalball, which would be yep. soccer. Um, lacrosse. Lacrosse and so many more things. Yeah. Um, their main sponsors for uh, lacrosse uh, uh, is uh, Marquette Lacrosse. Um, sponsor for their wheelchair basketball is the Bucks, yep. and the sponsor for the uh, sled hockey is the Milwaukee Admirals. Yep. Speaking of sponsors, yeah. we move on to ours. Uh, hockey Locker, twenty o two West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You could go ten blocks that way if you jump in this video. That is. Yeah, you <laughs> jump in the video into my apartment. You can go ten blocks that way. From where we film all our videos, um, and uh, you could do, uh, they'll outfit you from head to toe if you're a player, and from head to about waistline mm -hmm. if you're a fan, unless you feel like wearing breathers. <laughs> okay. I'm okay with no breathers. <laughs> um, also, uh, don't forget to check out uh, the CCM demo day. Yeah, coming it's up coming up soon. April 4th. Um, it's over there at Wilson Park. Go check it out. Alrighty. Let's get into it. And we're on the road again. Can't wait to get on the road again. We can't wait to get back home again. Good Lord, what a long week. We've been on the road so long. Okay, like just to, just, just, just to say to our, our fans out there, just a week without hockey is kind of like, you know, you... I had to travel just, to Tennessee. Yeah. <laughs> like you went, you went out of your way. I'm like, geez, I'm just like itching to get back into the rink and watch more hockey. And like just like... Oof, this like this is our longest road series away. Yeah, yeah. this season so yeah. far. The, all season. All season. This was it. Right. Like, oof. Two games in Colorado, two in Texas, and then <laughs> I felt bad for the Stars a little bit because they had to go all the way to San Antonio in the middle of after playing us, and then go to San Antonio, beat them there, come back to home just to play us again. And then we traveled to San Antonio, just like, which would have been the weird, which would have been better for Texas, is if they played us, and then we went to San Antonio yesterday. Yeah, and that, then we got home today. But that is the messed up nature of AHL scheduling in a nutshell. Yep. So, but that's a that's an editorial away, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but um, no, uh, we went to uh, we went to uh, good old San Antonio, I think, for our last road game with them. Correct, and that is the last time we will be at the AT&T Center. Yeah. So to you, to all your San Antonio fans, thank you. That yeah. showed up. We, we, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it. I'm not a fan of the Henderson Silver Knights. Oof. That's uh, another editorial on the way. But Yeah, we have one coming up sometime this week. I'm working currently, as he saw, on the uh, AHL jerseys, I had to do some yeah, modeling to that. You're working on the AHL white jersey uh, review. 
Yeah, I had to do some remodeling to that video, and yep. And to clarify, we only call them the white jerseys because of the whole AHL flipping them uh, halfway through the season from home to away and away to home. Yes. So, that that story. Let's get into this game, though. We had a pretty, uh, I'd say, a much better uh, result in this one than we thought we were going to get. I yeah. Mean, like... I was honestly worried that, you know, a little bit, eh, I don't want to say I was too worried, but again, this one's a nice little, a nice little, uh, like, recheck it back into the, into the forum. Also, Daniel Carr looked better. Yeah. All right. So we got uh, 35 shots on to 25 for the Admirals. Uh, the Admirals were one for six. San Antonio, oh, for five. Owie. And they had almost an uh, hour and penalty minutes between the two. Damn. And for our penalties, we had uh, Ben Harper for cross-checking, Cole Schneider for roughing, Ar Arvin Atwal for cross-checking, Matthew Olivier for interference, Matt Donovan for slashing, Matthew Olivier for sla or roughing, and Tanner Geno for unsportsmanlike conduct, roughing, and a 10-minute misconduct. What are you doing, Tanner? Somebody got under his skin. Yeah. And uh, finally, Josh Healy for unsportsmanlike conduct. But we'll see who makes the crap list today. But I don't want to base it entirely on the penalties. But I kind of have a pretty good idea who makes the list today. But um, no, so uh, this was a shutout game. Yeah. Nothing nothing wrong with a good old shutout game, especially to, you know, after losing to two pretty tough games in this road series, uh, one in Colorado and one in uh, one in the Stars, where it just didn't look like no matter what we could do, like yeah, it looked horrible uh, yesterday. Uh, from what I saw, I was not happy with their performance. No, it seemed like there was a mix between performance and officiating, which that officiating will get any under your skin, but when you're not performing well, that is a, a nasty, nasty itch. But um, uh, in like there was no scoring in the first period, so uh, the first one to tag it on the board would be Daniel Carr with his 22nd. Welcome back, Daniel. With an assist by Tommy Novak at 29. Uh, in the third, we would have a goal by uh, you know up and coming uh, Predator probably in the future. Like Billy Tolvanen with his 19th. He's scratching ever so closely to that leading board of goals. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is led by Daniel Carr, I believe. Yes. With 22, and he's now at 19. Mm -hmm. uh, with an assist from Ben Harper, Finally. his 11th, and Tanner Janot, his 15th. And then the empty netter, we got Ellie Tolvin it again. Oh, also, wait, there's 20. Also on the power play, no less, too. Yeah, I don't understand why when you're down a guy, you have the urge to pull your goalie, but I understand it. To just to extent. restore the, what is it, it's just to restore the fifth man, or the fourth man. Yeah. Or, no, it's fifth man, excuse me. Because I think, <laughs> even looking at it, the assists go to Daniel Carr and Cole Schneider. Uh, Carr's 26, Schneider's 28. So Tolvin and Carr and Schneider, oof. Mm-hmm. Those are your three point leaders, if I remember now. Yep. Uh, three stars of the game were uh, Daniel Carr with a goal and an assist. Uh, second star was Ilya Tovinen with two goals. And Cotter Ingram was the first star with a shutout. Shutout of 25. All right. Tanner Trudeau, 14 minutes and penalty minutes. Not on the crap list because he did get an assist. Yep. Uh, where's Olivier? Four penalty minutes. No, no, nobody. Nobody for us. Nobody? Nobody for us. If I was a fan of San Antonio, I'd be uh, Robert, Robbie Jack and Jackson and... Um, Honestly, that'd probably be it. Um, where is he? Guy who liked to... Oh, yeah. Nico Mikola. He, uh, he was in the box quite a bit. Yeah. Which, you ty again, typically as your ultimates, you don't want to see them engaging in the box as much. Olivier being the exception, if they're meant to be that figure. Yeah, which he is. Like, Carrier, I don't really see as being someone that would be in the box. Matt Donovan, definitely. Basically, your stand-up figures. But, uh, no, um... Good game by Edgar. Yep. Um, 
I think we should talk about that a little bit. Um, yes. Ingram has been playing lights out all season. Yes. With keeping his goal total under three. Mm -hmm. If you can keep your goal total under three, you're good. Um, he, with this, has a shutout now. Mm -hmm. If you mind clicking on his name, it would be great. That way I can find out some more. Because I kind of am curious to, after tonight, what his uh, goals against average will look like. Because I don't know much about his stats this season beyond him leading the league in almost all goaltendings. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if he has a lot of shutouts. Uh, he has two. Yep. Uh, so what was it? 21 wins, five losses, five overtime losses. And two shutouts. Two shutouts. With a .192 goals against average and a .933 save percentage on the season. Not to be reflected of the two years he spent with the Syracuse Crunch. And if you actually look at it, again, his save percentage is still pretty decent. And if you're anywhere in the, the was it the, the 900 column for save percentage, yeah. You're doing pretty good. And even with those totals included, he's still in the 900. Yeah. And his goals against average as a career in the AHL is 2.16. I think another thing to take into account for is that he has been in the playoffs. He's yeah, he played for Syracuse in 2018 as a rookie. Yeah. You just throw a rookie in there and go, here you go, play in the playoffs. But, um, what? But not only that, he like that's the again like he was thrown into the the fire of the Calder Cup playoffs. So from that, the ECHL. Yeah. So that gives it like honestly that gives him an advantage. Yeah. So I would I would not be surprised like as much as I like Troy and that's the other thing we got to talk about. I don't get the the naysay on Troy Grosnick. I just don't. I, I okay. Here's the thing. As much as people want a steady goalie yeah, as a starter, you get a cold hand. Yeah. The way you do the split is on the last week of the season, the last four games, that's your starter. Yep. Last four games. Yep. So if it's going to be Ingram, let it be Ingram. If it's going to be Troy, let it be Troy. Yeah. You can't split them. Well, you can, depending on... Yeah. But I don't, I don't think he's being given a fair shake. These last few games have been tough. Yesterday's game with uh, was a, uh, facing Ottinger. Ottinger is one of those goalies that will stand on his head and make was it make it like a, like basically a trip down to the land of Satan. Yeah. Uh, but that's all we got for that one. Up next, oh, wait, where are we? we're, we're going, we're coming home, Dan. We're coming home. We're on the road again. I can't wait to get home again. See. Wait, we're home. Oh, we're home. no, that reminds me. We have a school day game. Oh, oh yeah. Wake up bright and early, campers, because <laughs> we've got a 1030 game. It's the Baird school game. Yeah. Woo! Um, school games. Only fun part about them for me and Jeff, our uh, chat guy, is... Uh, we get to get the kids in trouble. <laughs> oh, boy. See, this is why I'm not going. <laughs> we we literally deliberately get the kids in trouble. We will yeah. do our chants, and the kids will do them, and then the teachers will be like, you shouldn't be doing those. Here's the thing. You'd rather have learned them from a bunch of knuckleheads like us or teach them yourself. Your yeah. choice. I mean, I, like as long as you just get them to do the Civ chant, that's good enough. <laughs> yeah. But, um, should we talk about Everybody our... scream. Yeah. <laughs> gotta get used to that. Because we gotta wonder why they haven't sold earmuffs in the, the arena team, team store. They do have earplugs that they give away at the, de the information desk. Do they really? <laughs> yes. Jeez. Like, I just want Admiral earmuffs that have, like, the Admiral on, or the Admiral skull on both sides. They used to make those back when Jay and Lloyd over the team. What, who? Jane and Lloyd Pettit. Oh, yeah. Jane and Lloyd Pettit are, are dearly, dearly uh, departed uh, past ownership. Yep. They also did the starter jackets. God, I wish those would come back. Man. You just had to say, like, all you had to do was say starter, and I knew exactly what you were talking about, too. Yeah, they had Admiral starter jackets, which were really nice. I had one. 
But um, should we get into uh, our top scores for the uh, for San Antonio? Do you want me to do it? Go for it. Sure. Uh, uh, up first, we have Derek Pouliot with uh, seven goals, 32 assists, and 39 points. Uh, Mike Bichoni. Bichoni, thank you. Uh, 21 goals, 15 assists, and 36 points. Nathan Walker with 19 goals, 13 assists, and 32 points. Nolan Stevens with nine goals, 22 goal, uh, bleh, nine goals, 22 assists, and 31 points. And Clint Costin with 13 goals, 17 assists, and 30 30 points. I think it's worth mentioning our guys, too. Yes. Yeah. For our side, we have Daniel Carr, who's definitely been coming back from his injury with, with a, a bit a of a vengeance. Fire. Yes. Uh, 22 goals, 26... Oh. <laughs> 26 assists. Uh, 22 goals, 26 assists, and 48 points. Cole Schneider with 17 goals, 28 assists, and 45 points. Tommy Novak with 11 goals, 29 assists, and 40 points. Alexander Carrier with 5 goals, 32 assists, and 37 points. And Rem Pitlick with 20 goals, 16 assists, and 36 points. It should be well mentioned that we have uh, uh, we put San Antonio on a 3-0 losing streak. Correct. Or uh, This is their third loss in a row. Um, also, 40 wins. Yep, yeah, that's right. Uh, we don't have our sticks, but we're in Club 40. We did it before everybody else thing. That's another milestone to have, people. Got to enjoy these things. And our magic number drops to four. four. It should be four. Four Whoa. to at least get us in the playoffs. Uh, I think it's 25 and 25 for the division. I think uh, for the division in the league, I think the league number does drop two. Also, Milwaukee, do you hear me? How'd you enjoy today? 64 degrees, first time since October. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> like, I'm wearing this today, and I'm just like, I might want to go sleeveless. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> okay, Chop sleeve, sleeve. sleeveless hockey. There you <laughs> Yeah, that'll work. Like that'll that. be like like beer league hockey right there, but, you know. Yeah. Um. No, the, going forward, the Admirals are five... Oh, and one. Yep, five, oh, and one against San Antonio. Well, San Antonio has been one, three, one, and one. Which, you know, this isn't. I think we have one more game with them. It's going to be a night game, so they don't. Their last game doesn't have to with us. Does not have to be a school game. Thank God. I think they're thinking the same thing. But I'm um, looking. Um, should we take a look at the standings too, or let's? Primer. Let, yeah, let's get to that primer. Let's get to the primer. Let's all check out the primer. <laughs> let's all check out the primer. You're gonna make let's me want to go to the movies. I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna make you go to the lobby yeah. to get yourself a treat. <laughs> but uh, no, um, right now our focus, as like, as I, I speak for you, I speak, for, <laughs> I speak for Dan, or, or I speak for Dan, I speak for Chris. But, uh, like, I, I feel confident in saying it. We're only worried about getting the clinch. That's it. Like, the chip says they fall afterwards. Don't matter. We, I'd like to see us win the division. That's all that matters to me. League overall means nothing to me. But if we win the division, guess what happens? We get home. No. Well, look at the league number. Look at the division number. Yeah, we clinch the league, too. <laughs> The only other person with the with a similar D, was it league clinching is over in the east, and that or is over in the east with uh, the the Belleville Senators, and the closest one to us in the division was it in the division race, but not like in the same division is Tucson. Tucson's only at twenty six right now for the Pacific Division, but they're also only at thirty one for the league title, and we're right now we're the only team. In our conference at single digits, I think we're the only, no, we're the only yeah, we're the only team right now with six. It's currently six on the primer, but we're at four. Yeah, we're the guaranteed four. Which means if we win today and we win Friday, we're in. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yep. Oh, by the way, Iowa plays on Wednesday against Rockford, and it is a school day game. Yeah. Iowa plays Grand Rapids on Wednesday. Oh. <laughs> 
So they have a they have a bit of a break this week too because they were kind of uh, they were playing Manitoba one two three all over the place. But yeah, they just finished their they finished a road stint too, uh, going through the was it going through California Tucson? Did they go through Tucson? No, I'm thinking of Chicago. Yeah. Uh, no, they went through California and they finished up in Manitoba. That's a heck of a road trip on its own. Uh, they get to go to Van Andel Arena. Yeah. Lucky you. But uh, Rockford gets to go, gets a little bit of a break of their own because they also went on a on a bit of a road. Was it a road run? Uh, they played up one game back in uh, bank, the bank. Yep. And they get off until Saturday where they play the Wolves. And but no, they with they play Iowa in the Makers Field. No, I meant Rockford. Huh. Yeah, Rockford. Rockford plays Iowa and then Bakersfield on Friday. No, they put that's Grand Rapids you're looking at. They play Bakersfield. Oh, sorry. Grand Rapids plays Bakersfield. Yeah. Iowa play or Rockford plays Chicago. Yeah, that's it. And we play a double dose against Manitoba. Which, Rockford, do me a favor. Just just beat them. <laughs> yeah. Please. You guys were close today. That's all I ask you for is just beat them. And Rockford, uh, Chicago plays San Antonio at Rock, uh, uh, Rockford this weekend. Yeah, at home. Yep, so they get a bit of a home stand there. And I asked San Antonio, do the same thing. Just beat Chicago. I'm okay. And Texas, beat Colorado. Yeah, seriously, beat Colorado. And, and, and somebody hit A.J. Greer. Yeah, someone hit A.J. Anybody AJ hit A.J. Greer. Everybody hit A.J. Greer. <laughs> I, I can't stand goons that play dirty. Yeah, like, I know that's hypocritical in a sense, but like the stuff that he was pulling in the Colorado ad series was just absolutely disgusting. Yeah, if our guys did it, we'd be bad. Well, you, what is it? Uh, you'd never hear the end of it from our coaches. Yeah, like Ford, like I even like it wouldn't even be questioning Scott Ford would be chewing you out instantly. Yeah. Um. So that's our our primer. Now you know our schedule for the week. Um, we will be back on Tuesday with the uh, Everblades. Is it Everblades? No, uh, Nashville. Yep. Um, it'll be me and Chris with uh, the uh, Canadians and Nashville, and they're in Canada. So uh, we'll see you guys Tuesday. Yep. Oh yeah. By the way, don't forget check out our friend at Hoggy Logger, twenty oh two West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, where can you call them at? Uh, you can call them at 414-800-7585. Do they have a website? They do have a website too, Dan. You, like, I'm surprised you don't know this. Oh, <laughs> it's oh a, they do have a website. They do have a website. Where can you go? You can go to hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Ah, yes, yes. And uh, they have a nice little about section where you can learn all about the owner, Milos. Yeah. A former Soviet hockey, or not Soviet, a uh, Czech hockey player. Czech, yes. Czech, not Soviet. Sorry, I stand corrected. But I uh, know uh, if you ever uh, call him or visit him or uh, even, I'm sure you could probably email him, tell him from Milwaukee to Nashville sent you. I'm sure he'll appreciate that we have people bugging him. <laughs> yes, um, <laughs> as long as they uh, are bugging them for the right reasons. Well, right. How can I get my skates sharpened in a specific way? I need my skates hand sharpened with, you know, dedication and care. I think there's only one place you can go in this city this city for that, and that is Hockey Locker. Yep, there's no one other in the county mm, of true. Milwaukee. True. There's only one that does it by hand mm -hmm. in the county, and that is Hockey Locker. Mm-hmm. Um, so don't forget to check them out. We are from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm David Goodwill. This is Matt. Our buddy Chris will be, our, our good old friend Chris will be back uh, Tuesday. And hopefully he'll be over his illness. True. See you guys later. See you, everybody.